Well, we are just days away from the Super Bowl, the Eagles versus the Chiefs. It's uh, one of the most watched sporting events each and every year. It's a unique mix of what commercials, halftime performances and the game itself. But there is another football show filmed right here in Shreveport that is expected to air later this year. And as we find out in tonight's The Good Stuff, it's an ideal southern mix of God, family and football. Everything we're showing is exactly the way it's happened. And everything we're showing is the truth. On the field all season long, the cameras roam the sidelines. Our kids have been mic'd up on the football field uh -huh. a lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> They're not out there saying, gosh, you just sacked me, you know? Ventured into their homes. We're a big sports family, always have been and into the locker room. When we tell our story, we're gonna tell his story. We're gonna tell the story of Jesus Christ. For a team that won 14 state titles, and 23 district crowns during a historic 25 year run in Louisiana, this program absolutely has a story to tell. But now, a few seasons removed from those glory years, a new success story has begun for the Evangel Christian Academy Eagles. The football and winning is just the result of doing a lot of little things well. A story that's now in the hands of a professional storyteller, actor, and film and TV producer, Aaron Benward. Look, a, a high school football show is nothing new. <laughs> but this Houston native feels what he and his camera crew captured this fall on and off the field is a real life story unlike any other that's ever been pitched to a national network. Every network under the sun saw it, um, from ESPN to, to Paramount to HBO to this goes on and on. Caligan. Aaron says it's now personal for him to share the true story of God, family, and football within Evangel's football program. Back when I was 12 years old, my dad uh, was in ministry and uh, he and uh, Pastor Denny Duran met. And the return to the sidelines of a 70-year-old church pastor and school chancellor who first got into coaching in the late 70s as the first ever coach at Evangel College in Missouri. And I came here with my parents to check out Shreveport and I met Denny at 12 years old. And from that point on, he became a mentor and a second father to me. It's a story 12-year-old Aaron didn't realize he'd be sharing with the rest of the world 37 years later. But here we are. I'm an outside guy who knew the story. In the middle of the school's brand new turf football field. This is a miracle. And every day that I walk out on this turf, I'm so grateful to God. Getting it firsthand, why Denny Duran decided to return as head coach a couple of seasons ago. First of all, I felt like God spoke to my heart and said he's going to give me another harvest. After the Eagles didn't win a game in 2020, struggled the following season, that's when Pastor Duran knew what Coach Duran needed to do. We lost 68 upperclassmen. It left us with incoming freshmen. It had become demoralizing to the young teams, trying to defend the team's storied history. The challenge didn't discourage me, it exhilarated me. Let's go. If there was ever a team primed for an old-fashioned rebuilding, this was the one. Duran took the reins mid-season, and the work began early each morning, hours before the boys ever stepped onto the practice field. So at 7.05, we are in that field house, and all of them have big leather Bibles with wide margins and their pens in their hands. And for two and a half years, that's what they've been doing. They have been every morning studying the Word of God, and they're coming to life from the inside out. And in that time, this team that went winless two years ago this season reached the playoffs, winning seven games along the way. But the TV cameras kept rolling, even after the games were over. They are teenagers learning their way through life. They also followed the student athletes to their homes, many single parent homes. It's been life changing for my son. Amanda Michael's son, Jackson, never even played football until his senior year. I wish we had had this experience many years prior. I've had COVID four times. The second time I got it, <laughs> I'm a champion. And Shannon Perry's son, Hayden, played through his senior season while also helping take care of his mother through a series of lingering illnesses. But he's the biggest, softest teddy bear and so loving. And I, I think that's been a big thing that's like blessed me too. 
boys quickly learning how to be men. We show and, and get into the lives of some of the single moms in this community who have sacrificed everything for their, for their baby. It's amazing to me because from a very, very young age, Peyton would throw the ball and Parker would catch the ball. And for the mother of twins, quarterback Peyton and wide receiver Parker, Sarah Fulgham knows it's taken a true support system for her to get here. Peyton did learn how to throw a spiral from my sister, she told me. From a sister who Googled how to throw a football to a program she credits for helping her mold two very active boys to the young Christian men they are today. All the work that we've done doesn't translate to tonight unless we get it done. Yeah. Like I told Aaron, I said, I don't have any need to be famous at 70 years old. And now, the last few My years God. of doing the little things has led to the next big thing for Evangel, their unique story of God. And I'll say, why are we doing this? And they will say, so we can become better men. Family. Oh, you're so right. I mean, that's the little things become the big things. And football being shared for everyone to see. Just thankful. I think if I could tell a story, I think if I could tell a story about my, one of my heroes. God Family Football will air later this year on Amazon free v streaming services. And by the way, many of those uh, freshmen that uh, Coach Duran talked about in that piece, uh, now juniors and seniors heading into this fall's football season. So watch out.